What's up everybody? It is Matt Modi with Odds Jam, and for this video I'm going to talk to you about how you can make thousands of dollars specifically betting on DraftKings Sportsbook. So this is my homepage from oddsjam.com, the site I use to track all my bets. And as we can see, I'm up almost two grand specifically from DraftKings Sportsbook. So it's my second highest uh, book in terms of profit, second to bet MGM. Uh, it's a really good book. I love it a lot. I have it up here. Uh, it's probably my favorite book. Um, I would say whenever I'm looking at odds and just want to price stuff just to see what like a live total is or something, my first instinct is to always go to DraftKings.com. So I think it's a really good book. Um, and like I said, this video, video is dedicated to show you how you can make thousands of dollars betting on specifically DraftKings Sportsbook. So I'm going to use the OGM sports betting software as well to detail it, but this is all going to be through DraftKings. So I would appreciate if you could like the video, uh, send a comment just so I know that you like it or not. And if you could give feedback, just um, it would be really helpful moving forward. And then, of course, click that plus button and subscribe to the OGM YouTube channel. But let's get into it. So like I said, I've made almost uh, two grand specifically betting on DraftKings Sportsbook. Um, I track everything through OddsJam through the OddsJam.com website. I use the bet tracker. So uh, if you're not currently subscribed with OddsJam, no problem. The bet tracker is completely free and it's something that I recommend to any sports better out there. Uh, you need to be tracking your bets and understanding your profit and loss. And like I said, the OddsJam one, it's completely free. So what you're doing, stop what you're doing right now. Just go to oddsjam.com and at least sign up for the bet tracker so you can start tracking your bets and you can see how profitable you are on different sports books. Like me, really profitable on DraftKings. So I thought, hey, be a good idea to make a video to show everybody else how you can be profitable on DraftKings. And this is all information that comes from the bet tracker. So gotta go to oddsjam.com and sign up for the bet tracker right now. What are you doing? Go sign up. So one way I absolutely love using DraftKings to make money is I use their odds boost. So as you can see, I'm up about a grand specifically from odds boost. Um, I would say this is about majority DraftKings with a little bit of FanDuel as well. And the way you can get to the DraftKings odds boost, let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, it's pretty easy. So I'm logged in my account. That's my nickname. Um, and you go, so you go to DraftKings.com, you go to promos, and once you're in there, you'll see a screen specifically for odds boost. So this is always the first thing I specifically look at when I'm going to go bet on DraftKings Sportsbook is I just want to see what their odds boosts are. So as of right now, there's just the one. I would imagine uh, as the NBA playoffs ramp up, um, more and more are going to be posted. What I Like I said, the first thing I do is I specifically look at their odds boost and then I decide which ones I want to bet. So one thing that's incredibly, incredibly important to note is that not every single odds boost is going to be something that we recommend betting. Uh, what you need to do is understand what the expected value is of this odds boost because um, as good as DraftKings is, not every single odds boost is going to have positive expected value. So here's one that I see that I absolutely love, but let's find out why. Dodgers to win boosted to plus 100. So what I need to do is understand is understand what exactly the positive expected value is from this bet. So what I do is I go to oddsjam.com. So the first thing I need to do is just understand what the normal money line bet is for specifically for the Dodgers. So as we see here, the oddsjam perfect line, was this, which is the sharpest line in the world, prices this at minus 223. So as right off the bat, we can see getting from 223 all the way to plus 100 is already insane value. And what I love about Ajam specifically in helping me make money betting on DraftKings is I can use the Ajam tools to find good bets on DraftKings. So for this specific odds boost one, what I wanna do is remove the VIG and find out what the true line is for the Dodgers money line play. And then I can see exactly how much of a positive expected value play this is. The way you do that is you go to ajam.com and you use their no VIG fair odds calculator. Um, the calculator, Everything you, that I've used so far on Ajam is all completely free. So it would really help you if you went to ajam.com and made an account just so you could use all this stuff. Uh, it's free. You don't even need to make an account to actually use all this stuff. It's just helpful uh, to have an account. So that way you just log in and everything's there for you. So the VIG is essentially just the juice that sportsbooks charge. So if you're unfamiliar with that term, it's called VIG or juice. Uh, it stands for vigorish. And it's essentially, like I said, it's really just a tax that sportsbooks charge. So sportsbooks, they don't actually 
uh, charge a transaction fee whenever a user places a bet, right? I can place as many bets as I want and I won't get charged for the bet. So instead, what sports books do is they just juice up the odds a little bit. So that way, um, no matter what happens, their odds are juiced up enough that they can make money off of it. And what we need to do as profitable sports bettors is just remove the VIG. And what you do is you see, so go to the no VIG fair odds calculator on oddsjam.com. You enter both sides of the odds. So it's plus 202 minus 223. Plus 202 minus 223 puts the true line of this bet at minus 208. So I already know that this is an insane value getting this at minus getting this minus 208 bet at plus 100. So what, the way you actually lock the bet in, you just click claim boost. Now you see that I've opted in. So now it takes me directly to the Braves Dodgers game and I can lock in this bet and place it. And the way you actually place it is incredibly easy. I just hover over Dodgers money line. I click this button. The bet slip appears on the right here. Um, most of their odds boosts have a limit of $50. You can't bet any more than that. Obviously, they don't want you to take too much advantage of it. So if I enter in the amount here, um, I know that it's priced at plus 100 because um, I just get exactly my money back. So $50 bet at plus 100 odds, you get profit 50 bucks. So I know that the odds boost has worked because my total payout is 100 bucks. So I just place it and there I'm good to go. And I see here my pending bets, odds boost, Dodgers money line, plus 150 bucks pays out 100 bucks. Good to go there. Odds boost, my favorite way to use DraftKings to profit, uh, but it's not the only way. So let's get into more. So aside from odds boosts, there are more ways you can profit. Like I said, the majority of them I love are still on the promos page. So you just click promos. And another thing that I really like that they do are risk-free same game parlays. Um, they also sometimes offer risk-free traditional parlays, but in this case, it's just the same game parlay. Um, the way it works is it's pretty easy. You just go to a typical, this one specifically for the NBA playoffs. So you go to an NBA playoff game. Uh, you make sure you click opt in here, which I will do now. I'm opted in and I go to a game and I click this button right here specifically for a same game parlay. And then I add a bunch of picks to my parlay, depending what I want. And if it hits up to $10, um, or so, so if I bet up to $10 and it loses, I get that money back, $10 free bet, no harm, no foul. If it hits, of course, I get all the money. So what I like to do to find uh, plays to make is uh, go to Odd Jam. Uh, you go to the actual game itself and you just find positive expected value bets specifically on DraftKings. So as you see here, there are a ton of different markets, right? There's money line, there's spread, there are also player props, assists, assists and rebounds, first basket, points. Uh, what I go through is I find positive expected value bets specifically on DraftKings and then I just make those a same game parlay and I can show you exactly how to do that. So I found a play and I'll show you exactly how I found it. So the way you find plays is you just go to a stat, right? So what I'm in here now is the points, rebounds, assist. I know exactly where DraftKings Sportsbook is. And I just look for examples where I'm getting the best odds on DraftKings. Um, and if you're beating the odds jam perfect line, that's how you know it's positive expected value. So for this Danny Green one, technically, uh, this might be positive EV, but I'm getting better odds on BetMGM, so I'm not maximizing my profit here. So I want to scroll down. There's nothing. There's no odds and perfect line here, so there's no play. Scroll down. Nothing here where uh, DraftKings has the best odds. Keep going, keep going, and pause. Here's where I found a play that I really like. Um, I love Joel Embiid, but I have to fade his points, rebounds, assists tonight. And here's how I know it's positive expected value. So the odds jam perfect line prices Joel Embiid's under at minus 133. Prices the over at plus 101. So let's remove the VIG and find out the true odds like we did for that money line play. Plus 101. Oops. Plus 101. Minus 133. That puts the true line of this at minus 114. And we got this at minus 110 on drafting. So that is a positive expected value bet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a same game parlay of only positive expected value bets, specifically for Odd Jam Sportsbook, with the first one being that Joel Embiid one that I talked about. So let's again go back to the play, uh, click same game parlay, and now let's go to it. And here's what I got for you. 
OG and Anobi over 17 and a half points. Joel Embiid under 33 and a half points. James Harden under 21 and a half points. Add to bet slip. And I've already opted in to the same game parlay payout. Um, and place bet. And I'm good to go. So this is another way that I absolutely love using DraftKings to make money is using the their risk-free parlays or same game parlays. Anything where you find a risk-free bet, it's gonna be worth taking because if it doesn't hit, you get that money back and you can use OddsJam to convert. You can convert free bets into cash or you can convert site credit into cash. So even if those bets lose, you have those free bets that we can convert into cash. So I've talked about the odds boosts. I talked about the uh, risk-free bets. Um, DraftKings also offers a couple other promos specifically that you can use to make money. Um, they uh, most notoriously have their profit boosts. So just to be upfront, I don't like the profit boosts as in like as I do the risk-free bets as much as I do those. Um, the logic there is for a risk-free bet, if your bet loses, you get this, you get that money back in site credit. Uh, you don't get that option with the parlay boost. So you just get the boosted odds, but if your parlay loses, you, you lose that stake and it is what it is. So I'm not saying that I don't recommend taking them at all, but what I am saying is that if you are gonna do one, make sure that you're still using positive expected value bets to uh, fill out those parlays and don't put as much on them or maybe don't do them every day like i would recommend a risk-free one but overall uh, that those are the DraftKings specific ways of course there are other ways you can make money on DraftKings, and what i recommend doing just some positive expected value betting so go to ajam go to the positive ev page uh, if you're not a subscribed member totally fine you can uh, sign up for a seven day free trial use the tools that you've learned in this video go to the odds jam youtube channel um, invest in your betting education there there's also if you look at the link in the description there is a um a bitly link for odds jams betting education right here betting education blog uh, any type of sports betting concept that you ever need is listed here in this blog so check that out as well um, but the positive ev page is where i make the most money off of DraftKings, aside from those promos it's pretty easy. All you do is you just scan through the positive EV page and you find a play that has positive expected values specifically on DraftKings. Um, as of right now, these are both the plays on the opposite book, not DraftKings. But if you keep scrolling, not a play. Here's a play, Jokic under 0.5 blocks. So the Ajjam perfect line prices that at minus 116. The other side of that is priced at, one at minus 114. So if you add those two together, you get the market width because they're two negative numbers. The market width here would be 30 cents, which is in range. So for a player prop, anything below 40 cents is within range. For a game prop, it's anything that is below 25 cents. So here's a bet, Jokic under 0.5 blocks. This calculator tells me exactly how much to bet it on. It does it based on my bankroll, the odds that I'm getting it at, and the uh, win percentage, which is based on the no vig of the Ajjam perfect line, which we talked about. So here is a bet that I should take. It's Nikola Jokic under 0.5 blocks plus 110 on DraftKings. So let's go lock it in. This is another example of how you can make money on DraftKings. So I go to player props. I just need to look for blocks. I need to scroll down threes, triple double blocks. Perfect. So it should be Nikola Jokic under plus 110. It was a $30 bet. Place bet. And I'm good to go. That's another way you can do it. Um, positive expected value betting is my favorite. Uh, this is probably the most important way to make money on DraftKings. Just bet positive EV. So I'll scroll through. Here's another play on Monte Morris within market width. This one's a play. Here's another one, Rudy Gobert under 13 and a half points. I'll go ahead and lock this one in. Here's another $30 bet. This is in a different game. But overall, these are just ways you can make money betting on DraftKings. So I'll lock in this Rudy Gobert bet and then I will be on my way. So I need to go to points. Rudy Gobert, it was under 13 and a half plus 100, $30 bet, place bet, and I'm good to go. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, just to remember, please like it, please comment on it, and please subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. That's all I got for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one.